um, it's okay to push him into that yellow zone just a little bit and he'll get bracy on me. So you're just, the first thing you want to concentrate is asking him to drop the head and listen. Correct. And then asking for him to bend if you're in a, in a like going in, doing the figure eight, correct? Right. Okay. If you never, if you never push the limits of your green zone, and again, guys, the green zone is where the horse is responsive and control, all right? The yellow zone is going to be where the horse is showing some pre-flight, where the horse is uh, heads up high, he's a little, feet get a little faster, that sort of thing. And then the red zone, the red zone is where the horse is um, unresponsive, he's, he's completely out of control, he's bucking, he's kicking, he's running away with you, he's just, he's those horses that you guys talk to me about so much on my website. Um, if you're never pushing that green zone a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further, you're never going to get anywhere. With never going to have a big green zone and a little yellow zone. Yeah. So okay. you need to keep pushing, 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 saying, we're going to do this today. We're going to do that little extra step. Let's get a little bit more performance for okay. you. All right. And once they do that enough times, then they'll go, okay, I'm comfortable with that. Okay. Let's go to the next piece. Okay. All right. <clears throat> more questions? No, I think I've got it. Good. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Next, we're going to get you up on your horse. I'm going to have you doing what I've been doing. Okay. All right, real quick, we're going to go through basic control, we're going to go through lightness, and we'll go through rhythm. Make sure that you understand those things, yeah. and then uh, we'll let you get loaded up and heading on back down to Florida. So, all right, when we come back from break, we're going to have uh, Tanya up on Sherwin, see how he does. You guys, stick around. Stop your horse from bucking now. Stop the bucking and start riding again. Equine behavior expert Ryan Gingrich has the solution. His two DVD set contains over two hours of easy to follow proven methods. Train your horse at home today. Order now and get Ryan's two bucking DVDs jam packed with over two hours of proven training methods to stop bucking. Plus, if you order right now, we'll give you a one month membership to Ryan's Connection Club absolutely free. But wait, that's not all. We will also send you a bonus one-hour training DVD. Order the Stop Bucking DVD right now. You'll get two hours of training instruction on two DVDs, a free membership to the Connection Club, and a bonus DVD free. That's three DVDs worth over $100, a free one-month club membership, all for only $29.99. Call now or go online to order at ryangingrich.com. Call or go online now. Get the very best step-by-step -step guide to helping you and your horse. Get Ryan's new book called Beyond a Whisper. No matter the issues you face, nationally acclaimed equine behaviorist Ryan Gingrich has over 20 years of horse training and encapsulated it in one book called Beyond a Whisper. Years of horse training experience, methods based in science and not old-fashioned cowboy tricks. Real help with proven results. Order Ryan's new book now and save. Order online at ryangingrich.com. Does your horse spook or jump at nearly everything? Stop that spooky nervous behavior today. Teach your horse to be calm and quiet and get back in the saddle safely again. Horse expert Ryan Gingrich offers real help with proven results. Equine expert Ryan Gingrich has traveled the nation helping thousands of spooky horses. Help for you and your horse is just a phone call away. Order now by calling 800-359-4090 or by going online to ryangingrich.com. Welcome back. We've got Tanya up on uh, Sherwin here, and uh, we're going to begin teaching Tanya how to work Sherwin. Okay. Now, one of the things that you came to me with was a lot of fear. I mean, a lot of fear about Sherwin and his overall things, and because you've been hurt in the past by him. And um, you know, we talked about this a little off camera. I'm going to talk a little bit on, and that is that. Um, the quickest way to get over fear, in my opinion, is to really focus on what you're doing. Having the knowledge to know that I can stop this horse whenever I want to, and I can get off whenever I want to, is going to help you, okay? okay. Um, and, and knowing that, that he's in a different place, okay? Just, just know that he's at a different place than when you sent him to us you know, a while ago, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you ride. If I see any kind of 
bad behavior, aberrant behavior coming out of Sherwin, I'm going to go ahead and stick a lead rope on the, the bit and just kind of be there with you. Okay. All right. But I don't think that's going to happen. Okay. So the very first thing I'm going to do, I want you to do is just work through base control, then lightness, then rhythm. So you have the whole gambit down and you understand the whole program, at least half of it anyways. Okay. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to ride to the left all the way around, just a nice big circle around me. You're going to use your inside rein, your outside leg. All right, because if you pick up your inside leg rein, you can't use your inside rein, a leg. All right, so go ahead and take a step forward. Good. All right. Now, things that you're going to need to look for, where's this head? Okay, is it a nice position? It looks like pretty good there. Is he responsive to the cues when you ask him to? Don't stop asking him to turn. If you're just holding that rein, you're just being a passive rider. You need to be an active rider with him. Inside leg, inside leg, inside leg, inside leg. Just squeeze, milk that rein with your hand. Okay. Now once you ride towards me, I want you to ride this direction, the opposite side. All right. If you guys watch Sherwin's eyes, you're, you're really looking, when I'm, what I'm looking at Sherwin, and I'm looking at his overall body uh, posture, how he's looking, how is he, does he look relaxed? Does he, um, does he look scared and, and upset? But if, I, if you look real close at his eyes, he's actually watching or trying to watch the rider and very focused on the rider at this time. He's not looking around at everything else that's happening around us. He's very focused on Tanya and what she's doing. All right, Tanya, now come right towards me. And I want you to stop. I want you to hit me. Don't hit me, but ride towards me. Okay, inside, outside, inside. Now, I want you to back a couple steps. One, two, inside, outside. Good, very good. All right, simple. That was very easy. Very simple. Very simple. Feel like a little different horse. Oh, my stars. <laughs> All right, good. He would ride with his back hunch, and he was stiff, and he would do that whoop-de-doo to yep. the outside with his hip. Mm -hmm. And... I'd lose it. I'd just go as white as a sheet because I knew what was coming next. Yep. So the next thing I want you to do is work on putting his head down. Okay. okay? Remember how to do that. Inside rein up and over his withers. Okay. Just a little bit. Not way over here. Just right here. Just right there. Yep. Just like that. Okay? The release. The release is so important. Do you have a job? Do I have a what? Do you have a job? Yes. Okay? If you went to your job for two weeks, all right, at the end of that job, that two weeks, you get paid, I'm okay. assuming. Right? Now, what if your boss walked up to you and said, well, thanks for the good job, see you later, and kicked you out the door? What would you say to him? I wouldn't come back. You wouldn't come back. No. You'd want to be paid. Correct. Okay, good. Well, your horse wants to be paid too. And the way you're going to pay him back for doing his job is by releasing those reins. Okay. Okay? If you don't release, I'm telling you right now, he's going to go right back to where he came from. Okay. All right? The release snappy it has to be immediate it cannot be delayed it cannot be before it cannot be too long after it has to be as it happens okay. all right as try again okay. inside rain over release good slower slow your hands down give them time to there you go do it again do it again do the other side okay good now walk and do that Wait till he puts his head down. Look for that drop. Release. Inside rain. Release. Inside rain. There you go. Keep doing it. Now I want you to do that in conjunction with asking him to turn. 